the 22nd of April 1944. Wilson Overton's impressive start to his career is starting to get noticed by some of the top brass. Having already become an ace in his first few missions, Wilson has followed those daring feats with a successful ground attack mission where his actions gained a positive outcome Commander wished. He would seem for now that the ground attack mission was a rare opportunity to hone our bombing and strafing skills as the 355th Fighter Group have been assigned a further two bomber escort missions today. The first flight would take off at 0717 and rendezvous with the bombers over the airfield before heading across the channel to strike at targets outside of Omul. We are tasked with escorting the bombers and ensuring their safe return. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are up in our P-51 and we are escorting RAF Havocs, A-20 Havocs, or actually I believe they were Bostons in the RAF. Uh, so this is a different type of bomber that we've um, escorted so far. We've done the B-26 Marauder, the B-25 Mitchell and now the A-20 Boston Stroke Havoc. Um, yeah, in a flight of eight aircraft today escorting these bombers to and from their target near Mule. Uh, so yeah, just coming up to the English southern coast here, you can see France over there across the channel. Um, it's a beautiful day, so we should get plenty of warning spotting any enemy aircraft in the area. Right, we're up in the air, and down there you can see the B-26 Marauders, which will be escorting over to France. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of action on this one. The last time when we uh, escorted the RAF A-20 Bostons, um, they hit their target and returned home without any enemy fighter turning up in the sky. So, um, good, it's a bit of experience for us. Um, bombers and everyone else made it home successfully but it wasn't exactly rip-roaring entertainment so hopefully we'll get a little bit more action this time so we'll form up with the bombers and start heading over to France Hi everyone, right we've got the, just coming over the coast as you know and we're just um, 
Seeing the planes scatter. What are they seeing? No radio messages yet. I've seen something. I'm following them down. See if I can see what they can see. Enemy airbase there, they may have just had some um, fighters take off. Well, the bomber's above us, so I'm going to circle around. I suspect they've got some enemy fighters in there, but it's not apparent who's who yet. I'm guessing the big black smoke could be FW-190s. Yep, yeah, okay, we're on it. They're going after those two, so we'll switch to these ones who are going after the bombers. Dead ahead, closing in. Get wrecked. There's another one going for the bombers. Is that a... I can't tell what that... Oh! I think I might have just got a bit of friend, friendly fire from... Um, the bombers. I'll follow this one away. Yeah, I think that was that wasn't from behind. That was um, the bombers' wildfire. That's why the other uh, P-51 dived out of the way. I think he was smart. He's going inverted. Let's see what is, is he going in? No, it doesn't look like it. Slowing down so we don't black out. One more S and then we'll come onto his tail. Almost completely off throttle, just trying to slow it down so we don't pull too many G's. Seven. Engaging fighter to the south. Range two and a half miles out. Ditto five. Engaging fighter. To the southeast, range half mile out. Almost out of it. Do that again. We'll just cut back to dropping behind him. Bombers seem to be okay. I think he's trying to make a break back to the base. We've got to be careful we don't get any anti aircraft fire from the Ditto base. Five. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Range about one mile out. Here we go. He's lost um, one of his rear stabilizers. Whoa! And a quick 
burst at me because I was lazy and almost blacked out and went across his guns. Rolling in. Dino, three, engaging fighter to the southwest. Range about four and a half miles out. Looks like his engine's backing up. He's in. Dino, four, engaging fighter to the north. There's still some enemy aircraft up there, it sounds, so let's uh, climb up and re engage with the fight. Got a couple dog fighting there, perhaps. Let's climb up and meet them. Is that a P 51 coming in behind me? I think so. I'm nervous, though. Yeah, I think it is. Aircraft coming in there. Engaging fighter. Who are you? Range about one mile out. I've got that one. It's P fifty one behind me. I don't know. So this is this the enemy? No, I'm chasing him around. Is that guy covering my tail? Probably not. Who are you? Is that a 190? No, it doesn't look like it. Although, it could be a 109. It is a 109. Right. I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to black out. Or red out, as it is. He's Dino, going inverted. Engaging fighter. Is close. Out. Back to him. Oh, I thought they'd already dropped. Clearly not. Good burst. I'm streaming. Aircraft on my tail. On, on the tail of this one. Good hits. On my tail, Engaging I'm gonna break off. So I think that might be his wingman. I think it was his wingman, almost blacked out there. It was his wingman. Yeah.
Right, we're really close to um, blacking out, so I am so that, trying to. Three engaging fighter. Close. Been hit. Do not black out now. Oh, hit again. Can't see a bloody thing. Streaming. Can't see him. Can't see a thing. Okay. Colors coming back into my eyes. Uh, we're badly damaged. I can actually start to see what's happened now. I have no idea. There he is. He's down there. I see him. Right. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Range three miles out. Right, I'm on his tail. Six. Engaging fighter. I don't actually know how much ammo I've got left. Three. The aircraft is badly damaged. Oh, he's gone in! He's gone in! Okay. I think this may be my opportune moment to um, leave the fight and try and get back over the channel. Um, so, yeah. Wounded and bleeding life force. You can see the bombers coming back. I'll um, I'll do a bit of pathfinding for them and try and make it back over the channel and back to home base. Um, I think we're low on ammo anyway. I don't know if we've got an ammo count here. Don't think so. Um, yeah, this is Ditto three or four. I think we're Ditto three. Heading back to base. And after 58 minutes and 53 seconds, mission was complete. We were credited with two aircraft kills. Uh, I guess we got the 190. Um, so a lot happened. I can't remember now. The F W yeah, the F W 190. We definitely got. We saw that blow up in as it hit the fields. The 109. We saw heavily damaged and smoking, and then we got distracted by his wingman. And we saw the wingman going into the sea. So I don't know what happened to that first 109. Maybe he managed to get back to base safely. But two aircraft kills we were credited with. And there's a bit of bleak reading. So flight lead Donovan Lasco was shot down and killed, unfortunately. 
Um, Horace Robinson was able to, uh, it was Ditto 2, he was the one who landed, um, so he must have been damaged as well. He landed right before us. Uh, Wilson Overton, two aircraft kills, managed to get back but damaged. Uh, Jacques Runyon was able to return undamaged. Um, Manuel, well, Manuel uh, Resetta, unfortunately he was also shot down and killed, as was Milden uh, Podlager. Sad news indeed. Um, Winton also was able to bag an aircraft, so we were able to come away three aircraft kills, but sadly three pilot kills as well. Well, the 355 will mourn the loss of another three of its boys. Um, that three aircraft kills, there we go. There's Donovan, there's Manuel, and there is Milden. Sadly lost on this mission. However, that takes us to 105 kills. If you remember last time, uh, we were just shy of 100 kills, but now it's 105, thanks to some other missions that Wilson didn't fly in. Um, and there you can see the accreditation. We are second uh, highest kill scorer with eight aircraft. Um, Carlin Buell with nine is the leading killer of the squadron now. Um, everyone seems to have got at least one kill, so that's something at least. Uh, we've got 10 serviceable P-51B5s in service. We're coming into Wilson's personal log. Um, as you can see, he's still got his medals, which he attained previously. Eight aircraft kills now, one vehicle kill, two armaments, and it's a promising career, which had a bit of a scare today. Thankfully, we were able to um, get away from that 109. I'm not sure exactly what happened to it. Uh, and thankfully, the aircraft brought us home safe and sound. We'll get it patched up and we'll be good to go again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.